Hello, my friends, and welcome back to episode 11 of El Rancho Grande. So, how are we all doing? I hope this finds you all well. I truly mean that from my heart. And today, we're going to have a little look at getting some stuff done around the farm here. It is, as you can see, in November. So we are going to go up. I want to have a little look at that grass field now that we've uh, we've done our harvest and whatnot. I'm just going to go see. I know it needs rolling. I just want to see what else, if anything, needs doing to it. So what do we got? There we are. Needs uh, needs rolling. Okay. Well, fair enough on that one. We shall go get ourselves said roller and like that. There he is. Ba -doop, ba -doop, ba -doop. And I gotta say thank you again to my friend Oz for suggesting this because it does make a world of difference on the field. Um, it's a little grindy grindy, I'll tell you what. You know, you've got, a, what is that, maybe a six foot wide roller and you're doing six miles an hour around the field. So yet, <laughs> it takes a few man hours to get her done, but you know, worth it in the end. Okay, now, another poor job done well, as always, because, you know, we aim to please, right? And I wish you guys would aim to please, too. It's a janitor's joke. <laughs> okay, then, <clears throat> pardon me, we are into December. Oh gosh, uh, too early in the day. I always get up early and do these things and just haven't had the correct amount of life support system yet, i.e. my coffee. But what I'm going to do this morning, and I won't bore you with too, too much of it, but today is a maintenance day. I got to get some of this equipment of mine all cleaned up and worked on, you know, get it wrenched and what have you, but what I'm going to do also is I'm going to start moving my equipment over to the landing strip for the crop duster here and get it off of that main square over by the cattle barns because I want to open that area up for our next adventure and like that and like that, right? Okay, tuck that way there. There we go, a little wash, rinse, and repeat. Grab this, grab that, grab the other. Oh, life on the farm, never a dull moment, always something to do. And tuck you in there. Okay, cattle. You could use a little feeding. Alright, so we'll take care of the livestock here. Cattle fed, chicken with fed. There we are now, back to the tether. The important stuff. Ta-da! That's right. I'm gonna get fleeced. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna put in some sheep now, so we'll get the wool side of things going here. So that will be cool, and we'll set it up for automatic selling, same as we did with the chicken eggs, right? So if we go in, <coughs> pardon me. So we'll go in here, and as I said, same as with the eggs, what will happen is it's set for storing. Um, so we'll set it for selling. Now we could set it for distributing, as you see there, but I don't own a spinner yet, so down the road for that. But then, yeah, we'll head over to wool, click on the wool, and now that way, once my ladies do start producing, the infrastructure's already set up, and as with the eggs, it'll sell to the highest bidder at the, uh, at the proper time, right? Okay, enough John. Let's go get some livestock. It's coming together, eh, guys? Coming together. I'm liking it. I just, I gotta not rush. It's so hard not to rush. And there we go. And again. Buy some more. Oh, seriously, we will. Any second now, I promise. <laughs> okay. Is. Oh, $32,000 worth of Welsh Black Mountain. I am particular about my Welsh Black Mountain sheep. Well, I'm particular about anything Welsh, 
be honest. <laughs> if I'm not lying, eh? which I are not. Okay, now we'll get these ladies fed. And yeah, so one more expansion on the farm, one more step to getting self-sufficient here. There we go. Now we just drop this off. What's left, rather. No sense to go and throwing it back in the silo. What we'll do is we'll add it to the cow feed in here. Because as you remember, it does, you know, you don't have to feed total mixed ration. I mean, you can get away with just cutting grass and feeding it to the cows, and the same with the sheep. You can really go lowball on it, you know. The only thing that putting hay and or uh, total mixed ration is, is it gives them a health boost, it makes them better, and therefore it increases the yield of their milk, right? But I mean, if you're broke and you can't afford this or you don't have a way of setting it up just yet, you know, just cut the grass and feed them the grass. They're okay with that. They've been doing it for hundreds of thousands of years. Honest. <laughs> there we go. There they are. Hello, my ladies. Alrighty. Way cool. I am very happy about that. We're getting there. We are getting there, man. Got a few chickens. Got a few sheep. Get going on the cattle here. It's all most wonderful. Most wonderful. Okay. So, that is December, and I'm going to have a little rest. And I think what we're going to do is move it along. And that way I can go sell my cotton. But I can't sell cotton in December because it's not the right time of the year. Go, we got milk. Ooh, milk. Oh, good thing I didn't go to February. This is perfect. I forgot all about the milk, peeps. How the hell can I be a dairy farmer and forget when it's time to sell my milk? Lord love a duck. Okay, come on, gilders. Brr, all that freaking snow. There we are. Let her warm up a little bit here. Got to get that diesel motor warm. Okay, so we'll head over here, and what I'll do is I'll gather from the barns first before I go over to the milk station. May as well take what we got in here. Good little beat on the windshield wipers. I'll give it a six. I don't know, it's a good beat. You can't really dance to it, though. You know? <laughs> Okay, now let's play thread the needle. Because why not? There we go. And we'll skeeby around this way. That's another thing too, is having the workshop here now. I can work on my own vehicles now. Saves having to head her into town every time something needs some maintenance, you know. Okay, that was a little tight. Alrighty, there we go. Yeah. Put that in there. Yeah, no so bad, no so bad. Okay, we'll just head over to the milk station now. We'll top her off there, and then we'll make our way into town and see about selling this liquid gold. Yeah. Give me forty acres, and they'll copyright me for singing the song. But I will say that if you give me forty acres, I will make this truck do a rather circular motion coming back to where I started and yet facing the other direction. There. Does that save me from a copyright? <laughs> yeah, pretty crazy these days. You can't hum more than about six bars of the song. It's like, bing, copyright, bing, copyright. I mean, I get it to a point. It's people's intellectual property. I understand that. They worked hard in creating it and they are entitled to royalties from it. Um, it just gets a little frustrating sometimes. I mean, I could see if you were using their music in your background or whatever, but you're playing the game and, you know, you're humming Dixie. And next thing you know, it's like, bing, copyright. Okay, enough of that whining and bitching anyway. We're here to do some farming. Now, let's see if this old dog can do this in one go. Jambi, over, over. There we are, a little more, a little more. Okay, tuck her the other way. 
There you go. Kate's your aunt. Bob's your uncle. Just like I knew what the heck I was doing. Clearly not my first day on the farm. <laughs> Alright, so... $72,000. God, you just, you just gotta like that, eh? Alright, let's nip back. We'll go get some more and we'll do this again. Because, you know, it's what we do. Booting in here, booting in there. Back we go. So, here we are. What is it in the real world now? It's uh, February the 2nd in the real world. For me. Early, early morning. But, uh, okay, so 72 again. Alright, we should have enough left to do at least one more trip. I don't know if we'll get a full tanker out of it, but that would be cool. But, we'll go back and see what we got and bring that back in. But yeah, like I say, it's February up here in Canada. And it's kind of overcast, rainy, snowy the last couple of days. But, spring's right around the corner now. We've, uh, today's February 2nd, so we've just had in bulk. Uh, and any you pagans out there will understand what I'm talking about that. And, uh, yeah, we'll have the uh, spring equinox coming up here pretty quick. So, good weather on the way. Okay, that's all said and done. We have moved now, as you can see, we're into February. Now we'll go sell the cotton. And you'll see this time I only got like one and three quarter bales off that field. And last year I got like two and a half bales. Not two and a quarter bales off that field. But if you remember when I was harvesting the cotton, it started to rain. And I, being me, Ah, screw it. it's not going to make that much of a difference. Well, this is the result and the consequence of me being impatient and pushing through harvesting in the rain instead of waiting. And now I've got one and three quarter bales instead of two and a quarter bales. That's the difference that it makes. So there's the proof in the eating of the pudding for you. Don't harvest in the rain, kiddies. All right. Oh, of course, yeah. And you gotta just slow down. The other guy's pulling way ahead, and you gotta slow down because what? You're a pedestrian, so therefore, you're in control. Okay. Fine. You're in control. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Uh, this is the three-quarter bale or the quarter bale. This is not the full bale, is what I'm trying to say. So we'll see what we get for this one. Come on. Here we go. Well, no so bad at all. We'll take that all day long. Okay. Now let's go get this one here. And we'll see what we can make on this one. So we're doing all right, you know. 400 grand. Coming along. Got a little bit of leeway. We can think about uh, doing some stuff around the property and like that. Now it's nice having that comfort zone, you know. It's nice being flush and having that money in the pocket. Okay, what do we got? Ah, okay, it's not going to take the whole bale because it doesn't need it. But what will happen is it'll chip away at that bale, you know, as it needs it. It'll use it up and I'll get the money and it'll trickle in. Now, you remember field three and how I always kind of wanted it. We got wheat in here, which means I can get straw. Oh, 243. I can afford this. That how it, yes, I'm going to buy it. I've always wanted field three. Eventually, I'll marry that up when I buy field five up on top of it. And I'll combine them into one long field. Okay, so we got wheat in here. But, uh doesn't mean we got to replant wheat or whatever, eh? We got wheat and straw a go-go right now. So it just gives me options, right? Okay, here we go. I'm a pretty happy camper. 
But guys, I think for the now, we're going to move her into March. I'm going to go get something to eat and have a nice long rest. So as always, from me to you, brightest of blessings, love and light peeps. Be good to each other, yeah? Go tell somebody you love them. Make their day better. Why not? Okay, bye for now.